The opinions expressed in the following program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect those of Rogers or Rogers TV. Welcome back to Health Matters. We are exploring traditional Chinese medicine. Up next is Pulse Diagnosis with registered acupuncturist Inga Spatari and her model, Maria Kravchenko. All right, ladies, pulse diagnosis. Um, let's just start with here in the, in the West, the way we take our pulse traditionally uh, is using these two fingers and placing them on the radial artery. Uh, typically, uh, 60 to 100 beats per minute is in the normal range. Anything above or below that could pose a problem. Um, in Eastern medicine, it's very, very different. Absolutely. It's very complex yes. and it's an art. Mm -hmm. So show viewers at home, I guess, how to place our fingers and really what information we're getting from doing that. Mm -hmm. In Chinese medicine, we also use the radial artery and we place our middle finger on a radial bone just uh, next to the styloid process and then the index finger and ring finger next to them, this way, like that. So we take the pulse first superficially, looking for the state of the chi, then palpate, find it deeper, looking for the state of the blood, and then even checking it deeper, the root of the pulse. So we have three levels that you're checking? Yes. Okay. So three, three fingers, three levels. The first level is the level of chi, chi, the level of our energy. Yes. The second level is the level of blood. Of blood. And the third level is yin. A root. The root. The what root. does that mean? Just generally. Uh, well, uh, generally, uh, uh, talking that the pulse has root, that means that the pulse has a very good chi, has a very good source of energy coming. Okay. Um, so she's using, you're using her right arm. Right arm. And we have both yin and yang organs. Mm -hmm. So did you talk, did you explain that yet? Uh, no. Okay. So from uh, the right hand, we check the, um, a functional state of the young organs. Uh, my, under my first finger, here is a lung. I'm checking the lung. And uh, then there will be spleen and stomach, and then kidney and urinary bladder. So we take the pulse, all three, at the same time, and then we check them one by one, like lung, spleen, stomach, kidney, urinary bladder. Mm -hmm. And on the left hand... But the other yeah. organs, like I if you're pressing more um, distally, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. distal... I, I understand what you mean. As yeah, opposed exactly. to proximal, yes. you're going to get a different organ. Uh, exactly. Uh, so um, if we um, press distally, like in lung position, the distally is lung and proximally is large intestine. Uh, for the middle finger, uh, proximally... Um, there is stomach mm -hmm. and distally is spleen and exactly the same the third position proximally is urinary bladder and distally kidney mm -hmm. uh, uterus at uh, gentleman prostate and even knees like if the pulse would be slippery here we could think that there might be an arthritis sure so there's six organs that you're checking mm, yeah pretty much on six hand. organs even and what more. about on our left wrist on the left wrist pretty much the same like uh, mm -hmm. naming the major organs would be heart, liver, kidney. So together with heart, here we are checking the small intestine that goes proximally and the heart goes distally. Gallbladder, uh, gallbladder is distally and liver proximally. And uh, kidney and urinary bladder, they are both here, exactly the same, proximally. Uh, urinary bladder um, and distally the kidney. Okay, so what are you feeling from from Maria? I know like you're under pressure right now. Uh, well, <laughs> so I just <laughs> did, I just need some to concentrate on it. Maria's pulse is wiry. Probably she's also under the pressure <laughs> <laughs> because wiry pulse it's a sign could be a sign of stress. Stre Maria, you're not stressed, so are there's you? There's all kinds <laughs> of conditions uh, you're looking for. Uh, when we are taking pulse, we are looking actually for 28 kind. 28 different types of pulses. 28 different types of pulses. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, luckily, not all of them are present. Like most mm -hmm. often, there is wiry pulse, sli slippery pulse, thready pulse, rapid pulse, okay. uh, floating pulse. So, so yeah. what does a wiry pulse feel like? 
Piety pulse feels exactly like a string under your finger. Like guitar like string? Yes, okay. and you feel a string. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting pulse. It can speak about quite few things. As you already hear, it can speak about stress. It can speak about pain. It can be. It, it can speak about leverage stagnation. And it can speak about internal wind or even external wind. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why it's important to make the diagnosis together with inquiring the patient and checking the time. So if you're feeling uh, wiry, in the liver mm -hmm, position, mm -hmm, right? Then in the third position here, then that that'll tell you what that there's stagnation in the liver. A liver tree stagnation, and that could be due to because in Chinese medicine the liver is related to anger. Could uh, that be right. the culprit? Uh, there is, One of them. There is obviously a connection. Mm -hmm. Um, it could be anger, it could be just stress, it uh, could be just emotion, mm -hmm. and as I said, it could be uh, liver chi stagnation. Could it be during a woman's time of the month? Yes, it could. That it you could. would feel that? Yes. Okay. What about a slippery pulse? A uh, slippery pulse, mm -hmm. it's another interesting kind of pulse that is pretty often. Uh, it feels like a pearls beads under the fingers. Mm -hmm. That's how it comes and slips and runs away. And it can speak again about quite few things. It, like can it can speak about phlegm, dampness. Did you feel that in Maria? Uh, maybe, let, let me check the right hand, because the left one was very sleepy. Yes, spleen stomach, yes, sleepy. Yes, I already know that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, slippery pulse is more characteristic for the um, right hand for spleen and stomach because spleen is the one in charge of creating dampness and phlegm. So what does that mean? Like how do you translate that? To, to a patient, will you have a slippery pulse I and your stomach? I can tell you how spleen. it manifests in me because I sure, know that'd be I great. have a slippery Go pulse. Yeah. yeah. So there is like maybe a lump in the throat, uh, mm -hmm. like a feeling of, of, or you have like expectoration of phlegm, for example, or a feeling of heaviness. Uh, that's. Um, that's, that's exactly the typical case of uh, dampness. Uh, I would explain to patients that this is the pathogenic factor that shouldn't be in your body and it's created by the um, wrong function of mm -hmm. some energetic organs. If, if a patient sees you at 9 a.m. and then sees you at 6 p.m., is your pulse going to change? There is a possibility that it will change. Uh, Huan Di uh, Yellow Emperor's Canon, says that ideally pulse should be taken in the morning mm -hmm. when the patient just woke up and didn't even stand up of the bed. Mm -hmm. That's ideal. Uh, so if in the morning there was one state of the pulse going through a stressy working day, by the evening uh, pulse quality could be changing. What's more reliable, the tongue or the pulse? The tongue. Why? Uh, because pulse is changing too fast. Let's say a patient on the way to you pick up the phone and had a extremely good news. His pulse would immediately change. That's why we ask patients first to sit down and calm. And so is pulse. the tongue more indicative of chronic conditions? Yes. And the pulse is more immediate conditions. Exactly. Yeah, you can say like that. Like colds, but colds, I would yeah. read them from the pulse because the pulse would become floating. Immediately, doctor has a feeling like a fish under the fingers. And while it doesn't show on the tongue, at least the first couple of days. Can you tell if a person's pregnant or if they're going to have a boy or a girl? Um, Yes. Uh, well, now we have uh, ultrasonography. Well, but back yes. in the day, see, but back in the day, uh, you know, five thousand years ago, we didn't. There was no X-ray machine, so this was their way, the ancients' way of Absolutely. checking our internal organs. Right. That's what they did. They took the pulse. They were very in touch with their bodies oh, yes. and with nature. Yes. So if the pulse was slippery, and there is particular quality of that sleepiness, it's more slippery than just dampness, uh, then they would suppose that um, the lady is pregnant. And since the left hand is in charge of yin and the right hand is in charge of yang, where pulse is strong, uh, that was the expected gender of the baby. So if if the pulse was strong on the right hand, they would say that she's expecting a baby boy. And if it was strong on the left hand, they would say that she's expecting a baby girl. Yes, interesting. Uh, okay, here's a question for you. Um, holiday times, Christmas time, let's say people are partying, mm -hmm. eating a lot of rich food, drinking a lot of alcohol. What would their tongue and pulse look like? Uh, catastrophic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the pulse would uh, immediately show that uh, sleepy quality that would speak about uh, too much rich food, too much mm -hmm. cold food. Um, 
maybe even indigestion if overeating and the same pulse could be wiry uh, because of abuse of alcohol um, over abuses the liver and right away liver is responding by a wiry pulse mm -hmm. and on the tongue could appear the picture of patches without a coating mm, that says that the uh, stomach energy has been hard at the degree that yeah, stomach All right. Well, thank you very much, Inga, for uh, explaining tongue and pulse. Maria, you're going to stick My around pleasure. for hand diagnosis. Yes. Up next, hand diagnosis. Stay around. An Australian systematic review has found support for the use of acupuncture as a means to enhance exercise performance in post-exercise recovery, Journal of Chinese Medicine.